the high school option. You're going to use this option, of course, if you are a KHSAA member high school coach or otherwise work for one of our member high schools. You'll be taken to the KHSAA member school login page where you must log in using your credentials. The certification is good for two calendar years and you must have this certification 100% complete prior to your sport or sports first day of practice. I didn't say first day of competition, but the first day of practice. This is state law. You have a 30 day time limit to complete all eight modules or you will have to begin back at module one. We are very happy to say that effective for the 2021-2023 certification period, you are now able to exit and resume any of the eight modules while they're in process. You no longer have to watch each module in one setting. And likewise, there is no time limit per module as there was before. So let's take a look at the high school option. I'm going to click on the high school button. Again, I'm immediately taken to my login page here where I've already got my email address, my username, and my password in there. So I'm going to click here to log in. I'm just going to pick any school because it really doesn't matter. I'm not a coach just for this demo purpose. Um, now, the, depending on your where you're at in your career, basically, or in your certification uh, uh, period, is you're going to see different messages at the top. So I'm, I'm not a coach. Obviously, I don't have to be certified. But this, you see here, uh, my certification expired uh, August 12, 2017. And I'm not currently certified. If you're a new coach, you will only see at the top you're not currently certified as having completed the KSA safety course. And then there's some other information there. Remember I said you had 30 days to complete it. So in this case, I began again on my recertification on August 18th of 22. So that's telling me I have until September 17th of 22 to complete. And again, this is just a courtesy. If you're not certified by your first day of practice, you, you you're not compliant with state law and you therefore you cannot be with student athletes. But uh, the 30 days is just a, a courtesy, basically, to give you 30 days to certify or recertify before your sport or sports first day of practice. And you do have to watch them in order. Uh, again, depending on where you're at in your certification, uh, if you're a new coach, you will not initially see the available courses at the bottom. You will have to edit, you enter your personal information here. You will see this box first. For a recertifying coach, if you need to recertify, you will have the ability to update this information there. And uh, you'll just want to hit update. Now, if you're a new coach or a recertifying coach, if you're happy with that box, you will then see the module list. I am actually in process. You can see I completed the introduction module on the 18th at 9.28 a.m. I completed the emergency action plan at 9.33 a.m. And then you can see the course time. And uh, obviously you can't go out of order at this point in time. So I would just click on the recognizing athletic emergency, which is the module I, I am currently on. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, we're very happy to say that you can now resume. And you see, I had already been, I uh, had already started this module. So it's given me the option right here to click yes, which you definitely will want to do unless you just forgot it's been so long. You don't remember what was before. You were going to obviously going to want to press yes here. And then it's going to, I'm going to turn this uh, so sound down because obviously there is audio. But I'm going to give you some basic screen controls. The new software is very similar to the old software. It is much better. It's much better on mobile devices as well. But uh, you're going to see the slide here in the center. Uh, you've got the previous and next. And remember I said you have to review the entire slide. You cannot go out of order. It's locked. Or somebody would just fast forward through it. Now, likewise, you cannot progress over here on the right side in the outline until you've seen, you know, the slide. Now I can go backwards and review at any time, but again, I can only advance to the slides that I, you know, I have to obviously view the slide before I can uh, see the uh, next slides. Uh, some basic controls at the bottom. You've got a pause and play. You got a little time bar there that tells you how much, that shows you visually how much time is left on the slide. You've got a rewind button here which basically just starts the slide back at the beginning if you had to step away for a second volume control and then the button i think you'll use the most is probably the full screen if i want to go into full screen mode um, previous next you've got the notes here um, which is a very 
it's, it's basically a transcript of every slide. So, uh, you know, obviously the doctors aren't, you know, everything they're saying is not going to be on the slide. They, they said, give you a lot more information than the, the bullet points. So if you, uh, if you need to read along, you can there. I believe that is pretty much it. You can see a little bio there if you would like to about the, uh, about the doctor in this case. Now, I just want to be very clear on this. If you have to step away for any amount of time, I would say even if you think you're going to have to step away even for an hour, let's do the proper procedure on how to get this thing to resume. So you're just going to, of course, get out of full screen mode. You can either close the browser tab or you can hit exit module. In this case, I'm going to hit exit module. Now, if I'm, if I'm, you know, and this, this could be the case uh, if you've stepped away, you, you probably will want to go back to this screen, but you know, you can close your browser and come back the next day or, you know, tonight or whatever. It doesn't matter. But when you log back in and you click on the module again, just like you saw earlier, it will ask you to resume and you just say yes. Thank you. Good luck and have a great season.